in this video I am going to show you how you can solve uh, this error with WordPress there has been a critical error on this website and there is a link below which says learn more about troubleshooting WordPress uh, so uh, when I clicked on it uh, like it di I did not get any email okay so it says that uh, it has sent me an email or something but I did not get any email so uh, and when this error occurs you can you also cannot access the back end of the website see when I try to go to the back end it's the same case over here so uh, what are the possible uh, reasons behind this issue uh, so the most common issues behind the issue, issue is uh, like incompatible uh, themes or plugin uh, so when you don't uh, log into your WordPress website for a long time you don't update the WordPress versions or the plugin or the themes uh, they get outdated and their codes uh, do not match with the current latest WordPress versions so in that case is it uh, simply breaks the website uh, just like this so for that uh, what you need to do is you will need to from your hosting from your hosting platform you will need to log into your cPanel uh, you will need to log into your cPanel so that uh, you can access the WordPress directories like the WordPress folders and the files plug uh, files etc so after I logged into the cPanel I am going to scroll down and go to the file manager and this C, uh, this cPanel is from uh, Namecheap uh, hosting so I will just click on this file manager and uh, just to let you know this domain tazvi domain dot online is my primary hosting so when I uh, go to the cPanel, uh, the files for this uh, WordPress directories uh, will be in the uh, public.html, public HTML folder. Okay, so these are the WordPress uh, directory files, and you can see that it is like it doesn't work. Okay, it doesn't work. So the main most of the in common cases uh, it happens uh, due to like uh, incompatible plugins breaking the website so I will just go to the plugins folder so so what I need to do I need to deactivate all the plugins so the best way to do this is rename the plugins folder so to do that uh, firstly I'll go to the plugins folder so to do that uh, you just go to WP content over here and enter it and here is the plugin folder see and what you need to do is rename it rename it and write down something hold okay now when I uh, refresh this page you see it's working right now okay it is uh, it's working right now it's but it's showing an error that Elementor Pro and this plugins had been deactivated plugin files not found because I have renamed this folder so what I need to do I need to rename it again so I will need to debug the issue see I will need to debug the issue to fix the site so I will just refresh it ok so you can see that all of the plugins are right now deactivated ok so I will just uh, activate them one by one and see what is the issue uh, firstly I activate Elementor then I activate Elementor Pro and you see this this Elementor Pro is the one which is which uh, which is causing the issue so uh, I am giving an explanation for this Elementor Pro is a premium plugin ok so I act installed this plugin a long time ago and I also activated the license uh, but for some reason the license might have got uh, like deattached with this uh, plugin and it did not get any updates and that is why uh, it got outdated and broke the website so I'll just what I'll do I'll need to deactivate all the plugins otherwise I cannot access this so I'll just go over here and rename this again to plugins dot hold so what I'm gonna do I'll need to let me refresh it okay then again I go over here and rename it okay then I refresh it over here okay 
so now I am going to delete this Elementor Pro plugin. I will uh, reinstall it later on, the fresh version, the out most outdated version. So for now I will delete it. Okay. What I am going to do now, I am going to activate the plugins one at a time. So uh, I find out if there is issue with any other plugins. So firstly I will uh, activate the free version of Elementor, it is fine. Then I will activate this plugin. Then activate this plugin. Okay, it's hope there is okay. It, this one is fine too. Okay. Okay. Fine. Almost done. So let me see. Okay. So you can see that all of the plugins are fine and this error was caused by only one plugin. Okay. So that is how we will need to debug and find out uh, which plugin is uh, causing this error. So I will need to refresh this and when I visit the front end of the website, now it is perfectly fine. You see this website is completely fine now. So that is how we fix this issue. So if I found this video useful please make sure to like this video and also please subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you.